I'm putting together a virtual institute, a center for um, informational medicine and society that will attempt to get at the very simple question, this P4 medicine is going to traumatize many different elements of society and industry and the medical profession. What are the most effective ways we can go about persuading people of the change and educating people uh, as to the opportunities? And those are really very deep and challenging questions. We've also created a company called The Accelerator that is a for-profit company whose business is to create for-profit companies. And it's a partnership with five venture capital firms in Alexandria. It's been enormously successful. We've spun off six companies, five of which I think are going to do really well in the last three and a half years. And we're going out and getting a second round of funding now. And it, again, uh, creates a model that some of you will be exploring as a possibility uh, for, uh, uh, for what you can do here. And so I would end up with just two final points. One is, and you can't read this, doesn't matter, that the paradigm changes we've talked about are really revolutionary. Systems approaches are going to transform the whole paradigm of how we do biology and how we do medicine. Systems approaches are going to open up in fundamental new ways every aspect of bi biology. The systems approaches are going to bring us P4 medicine with all of its revolutionary implications, not the least of which is this digitalization of medicine that will be followed uh, by redux, uh, reduced cost of medicine and so forth. And of course, what is also important is that more and more this is going to be done by thinking deeply about strategic partnerships where you put the best of the best together because the problems of these, the, the challenges, the milestones of these big science problems are enormously challenging. Whether you're thinking about stem cell biology, whether you're thinking about using, uh, creating entities for bioenergy, whether you're thinking about healthcare or agriculture or any of the, the rest. And the final point that I would actually, and there are lots of opportunities, obviously, and so you want to participate in some way in all of these opportunities. But the final point I would make is what are the things you have to think about if truly you are going to move into this kind of a realm? And I would say I've given you a list of things here that are totally obvious, but the two that I would argue are the most important to get everything off the ground are one, leadership, and to a compelling vision. And you need the compelling vision because the federal government isn't going to fund a lot of the things we'd really like to do in the future. So you have to mobilize your own state resources. And the only way to do that is to convince your citizens that you have a vision that is something they'd like their uh, children and grandchildren to participate in. Support of the educational institutions is all is enormously essential and key, but those educational institutions have the responsibility of bringing the power of this new biology and the convergences that is catalyzing to become a fundamental part of their biology. And exactly the same has to be true of medicine and so forth. The other point that I would make is you should get the state involved in a major way. Take the stem cell initiative in California. It was fostered by brilliant leadership both at the, uh, the end of uh, the, the legislative uh, uh, legal end of things and, and the scientific end. And it was a partnership of two people I've come to know very well that did absolutely a brilliant job. Uh, Three billion over 10 years, 300 million a year will transform how we do stem cell biology in the United States. Every brilliant young biologist that wants to do this is going to migrate to California. Now, we all can't be Californias, but we can if we create resources and focus them intensely on what we've got to build on, we can really make a difference. So I think the challenge is how do we come to grips with uh, creating these fundamental infrastructural needs. And 
you can't do it unless you get started right away. Thank you very much.